Right, so we're going to do a field test with the Midland 77 810. That's the emergency set. Uh, we did this a couple of weeks ago and um, I just needed to cram some of the repairs in uh, with this being our own set. I think it's one of those which was kind of sent to us by Alan. Um, so it's come with the factory aerial, which has seen better days, but um, we've, when we've tested these before, I think we've got about, we've certainly got more than four miles on them. So we're going to do exactly the same test route. I'm on the base station. This has a very slight height advantage over the normal aerial I use for tests. It's six feet higher. So, you know, it's a, it's a bit cheating, isn't it? But other than that, it's the same. Same aerial, um, just an 18 foot uh, end fed. Um, Antron 99 type of thing. So hopefully he's out there. He may sound a bit distant because he's going to be transmitting with it on the seat of the car and he'll just be talking in its general direction because you'll realise that it's actually illegal to be picking that kind of device up and talking into it. You can only use a handheld microphone with a vehicle in motion. Tango 21, Mr Chippy. Tango 21, guys. Roger. Right, we're all recording. Roger. Right, we're just coming up to the end of the way. Roger, got you at the end of the lane. Now it's Sunday, it's, uh, what's the date? 11th of September, it's a, cheap, a squeaky chair, it's half past seven in the evening and I've put off putting the air conditioning on so you haven't got that rumbling in the background. As soon as this is over I will be doing... Roger, got you at Ancaster service station. These aerials are about 90 centimetres, they're not one and a half metres. You know, they're, they're a bit short and not, they're those telescopic uh, temporary mag mounts with a very, very thin cable. Right, we're now passing through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, got you at Ancaster Crossroads. So that's the one mile point. Roger got you just over the top of the hill. So that's the two mile point. Roger got you on the Midland 77810 at Scratchy Corner on the factory supplied telescopic temporary aerial. And you're giving me an S3 at this point and it's loud and clear. Roger on that. So that's about two and a half miles scratchy corner, but that is interesting that it works as well as that on that aerial. Roger got you at Wilsford Level Crossing. Roger, I'm receiving you. So at the three mile point, it looks like he's uh, stopped hearing me. He will have got the squelch set. Tango 21 receiving you at the Kelby turn. So again, he's not heard us, and he's at the four mile point. Roger got you at the Grayley's turn. So he's still not receiving, and that's the five mile point. We are still hearing him, that's our worst one. So if we're hearing him there, chances are we'll hear him at the six mile point. And remember these tests are the wrong side of a hill. These are in our worst possible direction. Roger got you at Rawsby level crossing. That concludes the test, thank you. 
Okay, so he stopped hearing us at the three mile point. I think if you manipulated the squelch, she might have got us at the three mile point. We've tested these kind of things before, usually restricted to the Kelby turn. So there you are, that's the factory supplied short telescopic aerial which has very very thin cable and is inherently lossy. Now when we did the other test with it on my bench and he was just driving the test car in the usual manner, of course we got exactly the same range as we would on any normal mobile because they're a full 4 watt output. So that just goes to show the difference between using them on a proper aerial and using them on the supplied aerial. And I'll, it's getting dark. Um, when he comes back, I'll uh, see if we can get enough light just to remind you what we're talking about with the set he's been using. We're in the dark here, but it's one of these very short uh, telescopics. I'll just put show you the radio in on the seat of the car, and then we'll be absolutely clear what radio we're talking about. And it's one of those. So it turns out he was, he had got the squelch down and he could hear a bit of something at Willsford level crossing, but it petered out on that kind of aerial. So we've already tested this on a proper aerial. We know the radar works perfectly. And so of course it's the rubbish aerial with the rubbish cable and the rubbish connector that give this its adequacy. So if you've got one of these and you want to get the maximum range, use a normal aerial. Thanks for watching.